Today, it's all about high fashion from Target. We have designer brands that partner with Target to create dresses and high fashion between $40 and $60. Behind me, I have six dresses. Let's jump in and try on these really incredible, slightly ridiculous, dresses and see what they look like. So we have three designers. We have Christopher, I believe, John Rogers. We have Alexis and then we have Rixo. So this first one is by Christopher John Rogers and this is his floral long sleeve ruffle dress, 55 US dollars. We picked up a size four, color yellow obviously. Materials, 48% recycled polyester and 52% polyester. Let's be honest, this is a very fun statement type of a dress. I honestly think it's really pretty. It's definitely heavy in terms of fabric and just materials. Like it literally, it sounds very plastic. It sounds like, even feels like this type of material that you would have on your Barbie dresses, you know, like that really, like you hear that. And then underneath you do have this mesh to kind of make sure the shape keeps its hold and shape obviously. But I do like the print, I do like the color and I think it's definitely, like I said, it's bold, it's fun and you're gonna make a statement if that's what you're looking for. I do like the length and I will say it definitely fits true to size. It's a little bit more snug right here around the chest if you're a little bigger chested but it feels really nice around the waist and I like that it does accentuate the waist because everything else is just so big. You have the massive balloon sleeves. You have the excessive amount of shoulder detail happening. And then you have these three tiers and then this right here, you know what I mean? So it's fun, it's bold, but it's definitely really loud. That's what you're looking for. This is the dress for you and it's actually kind of cute. I paired it with these super simple white sandals. It's actually not bad. It's it's really fun, but it's definitely, I'm just standing here and I'm sweating because it's all polyester, you know? There's nothing to breathe. There's like, except for, you know, underneath here. So I feel like I'll just stand here and just fan myself. <laughs> I actually really like this one. I'm definitely not keeping it because I will never wear it just because it's so heavy and just, thick on my body, but it's definitely fun. And I feel like if you're really into these, you will enjoy it. All right, let's move on to the next dress because I think we're off to a really good start. I feel like we might go downhill from here. If, you're, if you see the dresses behind me. <laughs> this next one is by Alexis and this is their mixed floral long sleeve rope dress. Price 55 US size small, materials 69% polyester, 31% recycled polyester. This one looks really 70s, very hippie-esque, very kind of loose, you're kind of going with the flow. But I do like the print, I like the colors. Let's put this on. This is exactly what I imagined for this dress. It's kind of like that rope style, it's really long. It's definitely more maxi on me. I think if you're taller than 5'3", it's gonna be more of like a midi length. But you do have these nice puff sleeves. Again, they're not as exaggerated as the first dress. It's a little more detailing right here. The one thing I do like about this dress are all the little details. So for example, the little sleeves, the buttons on the sleeves, the buttons are the same material as the dress. So every button is different, but it's going in pattern and theme with the dress, which I think is a really nice little detail. You have the little rope belt, which I think is definitely really nice because you definitely need something to cinch in the waist with this dress because there's no shape. The next detail, it has pockets. Usually most of these types of dresses, they don't have pockets, which I think is unfortunate because I feel like it kind of helps even kind of grab the dress a little bit to create shape and I feel like it's kind of nice to do something with it if you're walking or whatever. I will say it feels really nice and lightweight. It has a little bit of a texture. It's not really soft. It has like these tiny, tiny, tiny little bumps. It's very breezy, very flowy. The one thing I will say, it's very sheer, super sheer. You can't wear anything besides the color of your skin for your undergarments because you will see everything. I think it's actually really pretty. It's really pair, super fun. Yeah, pair with the hat and you're good to go. Andre's liking two out of the six so far. Yeah. All right, let's move on to dress number three. This right here is also by Christopher John Rogers. This is their puff sleeve high low dress, 55 US dollars, size small, and this one is 100% cotton. This also has its own little statement. It's definitely very green, very vibrant, very money bold dress. money dress, or very green, eco-friendly dress, whatever you want. Again, big, huge puff sleeves. I feel like that's the massive trend right now. 
Next, you have a really nice waist right here with the rope belt, which I think is really nice, flattering. Pockets, I did not expect pockets in this dress, to be honest with you. And then of course, you have that ruffled high-low towards the bottom, which is actually pretty stunning. And it hits a really good length with heels on my height. Again, I'm 5'3", but I do like the length of this dress. And I think, again, this dress, it has a moment. I would definitely wear this to a fiesta, to a party, or just if I felt like making a statement and feeling green that day. <laughs> It's honestly a lot more comfortable on than it feels on the hanger. This fabric, it's quite loud when you walk and when you make movements with your arms. It reminds me of a shower curtain that you put on the inside, like that water repellent shower curtain, you know, like that moisture wicking material. This is what it kind of feels like and it's reminding me of, it's quite loud. It's definitely a little more comfortable than the first dress because this is 100% cotton. It's a little more soft on the skin and on the body. And I also think it fits pretty well. True to size, very comfortable, but it's definitely a very statement type of a dress. But again, every one of these dresses are. I feel like maybe, maybe the last one is a little more reserved. <laughs> but so far, not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> what do you think of this one, babe? I mean, I like it. <laughs> I think it's got a really cool shape to it. Mm -hmm. It has a really good flow um, when you walk. I mean, I personally like green, but I know that some people don't. Yeah, it's a, it's a very neon green in person. Very neon green. Okay, let's move on to the fourth dress. This right here is by Rixo. This is their polka dot sleeveless ruffle slip dress. $50, size small, and 100% viscose. So this one is more of like a, a relaxed, more flowy, a little more... Stretchy, right? No, it's not very stretchy. But let's put this on because it looks a little weird on the hanger, especially this extra material, these little flaps. They look funny. All right, so, so far, this is the most understated dress out of the four that we've tried on. I don't mind the polka dots and there's also like this, like a leopard print, but it's more like that sheen leopard print. It's the same color as the main dress, that white. But then I'm not understanding this right here. I feel like it's taken away from everything else and it's making me look so, so extra top heavy and very lopsided. I look like I'm just kind of spilling over. Maybe that's exactly what they're trying to get, you know, the spillage. <laughs> and then again, this extra fabric right here, it's not flattering. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. It's just like this extra fabric just hanging off and it doesn't look great. So. Definitely looked weird in the hanger. Definitely looks weird right here. I do like they have the spaghetti straps that are adjustable, so that's good. Then the fabric itself, it has a little bit of a weight to it, so it kind of just flows, but then it kind of gathers right here on top, and it kind of sits funny, and you kind of have to like wiggle a little bit to readjust. The next biggest thing is a huge quality issue extremely, extremely see through. And when I say see through, I mean see through. There is a slip underneath, but that slip is also super see-through and it's very light, which is good for comfortability, you know what I mean? But for <laughs> functionality, you have to, I, I would suggest just not wear anything underneath. I'm gonna be completely honest with you because it's very see-through. It's very comfortable. I do like the length on me. It's definitely more of a full length maxi dress. It looks really good with heels. But other than that, I definitely, would only wear this type of, type of a dress when I'm feeling very confident in myself because everything, and I mean everything besides this, is on display. I mean, it's everything, you know, it's just all here. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> this is the real Milana. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like I definitely would probably wear some type of shapewear underneath this dress to make sure I'm all snatched and ready to go. Let's go on for the fifth dress. This right here is by Christopher John Rogers. Puff sleeve tie waist volume dress. So if you don't have enough volume in your body, this is for you. <laughs> this retails for $60, US size small, 100% polyester. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera how shiny this dress is and the material, it acts actually, it's honestly pretty nice. It's extremely textured, it's quite heavy, quite loud, but it's, it's very, very, and I mean very reflective. So this would be perfect for if you're going on a bike ride, if you're walking on the side of the road, you're hitchhiking, you don't want people to, you know, run into you. Everybody will see you in this dress. <laughs> Let's put this on. All right, 
All right, this is definitely everyone's favorite. <laughs> But seriously though, I will have to say this is the most uncomfortable dress. It's kind of uncomfortable up here around the, the neckline. It's a little, little scratchy. That's the thing with this dress. It's really, really scratchy. My entire body, I just feel like I'm just trying to scratch everything. Again, you have the puff sleeves. You have this interesting material right here where you don't want to get the extra volume. <laughs> And this is where the volume begins. I do like the nice waist where you have the belt to really kind of cinch it in. It just doesn't flow right. It doesn't sit right. It's an awkward length. It's like a midi, but it's supposed to look like a little longer or a little shorter. I don't know. I feel like I'm one of the ugly stepsisters from Cinderella. That's what I feel like, you know, with the, with the butt. That's literally what I feel like right now. I will say I do like the color. If you're into really neon bright highlighter, bold statement colors, this is it. And I really like the reflective color in here. It's blue, it's purple, it's a little pink. It's, it's, really, it's really cool. It's definitely really high designer. But other than that, I think everything else misses the mark. It's really heavy. It does have pockets, so that doesn't miss the mark. <laughs> the pockets are actually really nice and comfortable. And it's the only part of the dress that's not scratchy. And I'm sweating. I'm honestly sweating in this dress. So last but not least, we have by the brand Rixo. And this is their floral puff sleeve lace inset, inset, no. <laughs> inset swing dress. No, it's not incest, it's inset. Price $50, US size six. Materials 100% rayon. This one I think is the least high designer, high fashion, but Let's try it on and see what this looks like. It might be super cute. I just don't like that it's really dirty right here. Looks like somebody's makeup. I feel very Southern in this dress, like a Southern belle a little bit, <laughs> with this hat especially. The color, this baby blue, the length of it, the flow of it, it's a little, it's a little more slim fitted. Everything about it, that really low cut V. It's honestly not too low. Yes, you can see it, but it's a little more close together of a V, so it doesn't show off too much, which I think is nice. The lace is nice and really comfortable. The one thing I will say, it's definitely true to size to a size six. I would not go to a size four because it is such a slim fitting dress. You have the side right here where you zip up and that's all how you get into this dress. I feel like if I had a bigger chest, I would not be able to fit in this dress at all because I'm fitting it as much as I possibly can. The sleeves are actually really nice. I like that they're not super puffy. I do like this little cinch right here. It kind of just hugs everything together. The, the sleeves are just like not flowing all over the place. I will say the length of this dress is really nice and comfortable for heels, like low little heels. I feel like if I were in flats, the dress would kind of like hang on me, you know what I mean? It would just kind of flow with me and drag behind me. So with heels, this is a perfect dress for me. Again, it's one of those dresses that is see-through. It does have a slip underneath, but you do have to wear something of the same color as your skin tone or nothing at all. It's just one of those things, you know what I mean? You gotta pick one or the other. I will say it is quite comfortable, but it is a little bit scratchy, especially with this like, material on the inside, it's a little bit scratchy and the way it's kind of sitting right here, it's really tight, the way it's cut. I wish it wasn't cut so tight or so close to my skin, if that makes any sense. I wish it was, I wish it was a little more loose right here, especially because I feel like it's just kind of hanging and really kind of weighing me down right here. But it's again, that kind of dress where everything is going to show if you're not comfortable or you're bloated or whatever else. But it might look really cute if you're pregnant and kind of grow with it, but you might not be able to grow with it too much because it is a little bit more, like I, I keep saying, it's a little more fitted, <laughs> a little more slim, but I think it's pretty flattering. I think it's a really cool length if you're looking for like a maxi midi length, depending how tall or short you are. But yeah, overall, it's not bad of a dress. I'm not really like excited about it, and but I'm not, mad about it either. I'm like right there. I'm a little more neutral. All right, you guys. So that completes the high fashion designer dresses at Target. I think they're definitely not everybody, everybody's cup of tea, but they really try to push you out of your comfort zone because the first three dresses, I would never, ever, ever put on myself, even try on, because I'm like, nope, that's too loud, that's too bold, that's too poofy, no thank you. But once you put them on, it kind of gives a really different side, a really playful, really exciting, a little, you know, a little sexy, because you're like, oh, I got this, confidence, you know what I mean? So it definitely kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone, 
not for every day. I think it's definitely fun to play dress up and just even go out for a really cool brunch with your girls or whatever and just have a good time, dress up, put on some really big hats. I think they're really fun, especially for that price point. I think some of them are definitely overpriced. I wish they were under $50, all of these dresses, but most of them have so much fabric that I can see why they they were stick between the 40 and the 50 or $60 price range. But yeah, it's definitely very interesting. There was a lot of hype around these dresses and so many of them are sold out, but some of them are still in stock, I think in various sizes. So check out your local Target or online if you, if any of these dresses piqued your interest. But for now you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.